The Mach 3 is a great board from beginner to professional. It's one of those boards that anybody can ride it. This board is going to be from, uh, from probably from knee high to about a head high to a foot overhead. So we have a moderate um, to deep concave throughout the fins and then a slight V off the back. I like to pull a, con a full concave through here and then a, a double con through here, V out the back. It breaks the transition off the bottom turn into your turns, um, especially when you're doing a full wrapping cut back up into a rebound. It has a little bit more um, width in the entry, has a little less rocker. I, I, I like to keep it moderate because that way in the front end so that when you're paddling it has a good um, paddling ability, it has a good wave catching ability and it also has a good planing speed. The outline, the rocker flow and the concave all work together for that planing speed and for that in speed in general. One more thing and that is the tail design on this is normally a squash tail and it's a little bit wider squash tail. It's not a whole lot wider because once you get real wide then it doesn't work in a, in a wide variety of, of um, waves and that's what I've really done with this board is I've made this kind of the go-to guy for, uh, for um, an all-arounder um, and it is one of the best all-arounders that I've ever ridden. Whether it's whether it's uh, a beginner or whether it's a professional surfer, you know, people can tell the difference in a really good board. And, and that's what I love to do is handcraft, you know, magic boards. So, let's do it. <laughs>